Hello my friends, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am coming on to share a humongous box of Happy Mail. This came in the mail from Felicia who is Bible Scraps here on YouTube and this is a gigantic box full of stuff. Um, I just opened it and let's see what this says here. This says uh, some favorite girly things to use. So let's see what this is. Ooh, a self-warming eye mask. The world's kindest eye mask. Warms up in 30 seconds. Well, I have never used one of those before. I'll have to try that. I have never ever seen that before. Thank you. And what is this one? And moisturizing gloves with sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E. I need these right now just from COVID because when you use the, um, you know, the, the stuff to clean your hands, it dries out your skin. At least it does for me. Um, so those are two perfect, <laughs> two perfect things for me to try. And then there, let's see, what else is in here? Um, ooh, and hydrating socks. Shea butter. Now, I've never heard of that either, but I could see where that would be very good, especially in the summertime. I don't know about you guys. But for some reason in the summer especially, my feet get really dry. Maybe it's because I wear flip-flops too much. I don't know. But that looks interesting too. So thank you, Felicia. That's so sweet of you to send those. Huh. And then look at this. This is a beautiful thing of yarn. Let's see, who is this by? It says, Correction Boutique. So, oh wow, that is soft. Look at this yarn, you guys. It's so pretty. And it has kind of like texture to it. It has different, um, let's see if I can pull a strand out. See how it has like parts that are really fuzzy and then narrower. Oh, that's really pretty. I could see doing lots of different things with that. So, and I love the color wave. It's got purples and cream and blue and pink. Oh, that's really pretty. Thank you, dear. Even pretty just for even using um, for basic crafts. All right, and then this is bubble wrap. Let's see if I'm gonna get my scissors here. Let's see if I can cut into the tape a little bit and get this open. There we go. Oh, look at how cute she has this wrapped. So what does it say here? It says, got this on my birthday, junkin' and thrifting, I love thrifting, up in the mountains and thought of you. Can't wait to see what you create. If you have it already, um, if you have it already, give up back. Laugh out loud. Just kidding. Give it away. <laughs> so she's saying if I already have one to pay it forward, basically. So that's very sweet. Look at how cute she's got it wrapped in gingerbread ribbon and she's got twine around it. Let me see if I can get this open without getting into trouble here. See, I think I can just kind of go like this and unwrap it. Can never have enough twine. So I can use that. And look at this adorable ribbon. I've seen Felicia do really neat crafts. If you don't know her channel, Bible Scraps, you should go check it out. But I've seen her do really neat crafts with ribbon before. And look at how cute these little gingers are on this ribbon. And you can definitely use ribbons like this to make things. Oh, that is the cutest little ginger, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that's adorable. And then there's a piece of this gingham one too that has little gingers in it. I have it upside down, but look at that. So cute. You always find the cutest things. And then she has it wrapped in a very, oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is a little gingerbread napkin and it has a gingerbread man and then a little gingerbread heart and little cookies and, um, or peppermints rather and a beautiful bow. So that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, and I can't believe you sent me this. <laughs> I do not have this. Um, it is definitely on my wish list. I'm always watching for it. Um, I've seen a few people receive this stamp. I think um, Cynthia just gifted one to Elise. And uh, I definitely have seen this many times over the years, but I've never been lucky enough to score one. So I'm very touched that, the, that you sent this to me. I hope you have one for yourself, Felicia. 
Um, this is a Debbie, if you, for those of you that don't know, this is gingerbread recipe quilt. And uh, it's a 19.99 uh, stamp and it's, it's Terry French. And it's J16012, but this, um, I have seen this many, many times before. And I love everything to do with gingerbread recipes, as you know. Diana Markham makes a really cute gingerbread man that has a recipe. And then this one by Terry is the recipe is being held by the person doing the baking, which I think is really sweet. Um, so, and you guys have seen me share the Diana Markham one uh, in a video this past Christmas. Um, I showed you what that stamp looks like, and it's a one that I've had in my stash. And uh, I am just very touched that you sent this to me, Felicia. I love this stamp, and uh, I, I have no words. I am speechless at the moment. So um, <laughs> this is one that I have on eBay uh, that I have tried several times. A lot of times this particular stamp is very expensive, and uh, so I don't always go for it, if you will. <laughs> um, but I'm very, very touched that you sent that to me. I have no idea what this is. EOS or SOE. I have no idea what this is. Someone's going to have to educate me. It looks like it has a lid on it. Oh, it's a cream dispenser. Ooh, and I just got cream all over my shirt. <laughs> but this is, um, ooh, this smells good too. Mmm, it's a hand cream. So I need that too. So very nice. All the personal products are very appreciated. That's something that I don't tend to buy for myself very often. So thank you very, very much. This this little box just has so much stuff. Oh, I think I found a card here. What's this? Um, a handmade rubber stamp sticker. Some of the, This box got juggled around quite a bit, so I'm not sure. Some of the stuff looks like it's kind of spilled out from where it probably was when she packed it. Um, this says, I know you love angels. Me too. Look at these cute little angel stickers. Those are precious. Oh my gosh, I love those. I love putting little stickers uh, when I do my envelopes. I try to always close up the envelope with a sticker. These are so sweet, and I just love angels. Rhonda, do you see these? Rhonda would love these too, because, and I know Felicia loves angels too, so thank you for sharing those. Those are absolutely adorable, and they are smile makers. That's what it says on here. <laughs> Those are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Then this says, um, one of my favorite stickers, scratch and sniff. Oh, and they smell good. Oh, how what a cool. Wait, i got to try it. Ooh, they do smell good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is so neat. So look at, there's little tulips and little flowers, and they do smell delicious. I have never heard of that. Happy flowers, stick and sniff. God made. Look at that. Well, I don't know where you found those, but those are adorable. Oh my gosh, Felicia, thank you. And then this says a handmade rubber stamp sticker. Let's see, it's a rubber stamp sticker handmade. So she, oh, I see. So it's a sticker that I can use. It's on sticker paper that she made by hand. That's adorable. Oh, what a cute ginger that is. Look at the cute little smiley face. Oh, I love that. I love handmade things, you guys. That's my whole jam. I love um, anything that's handmade. This says um, a prayer cloth. So let's see what this is. Let me open this one up. Oh, and it is. It's made out of cloth. It says prayer healing cloth. Acts 19 verse 11. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Well, I know exactly where I'm going to take this. So Felicia, thank you for sharing that. That is just beautiful. Did you do that yourself or did you receive it from someone? That's so beautiful. I'm going to put that back in here so I can show it to a couple special people in my life. That is beautiful. I love that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many goodies in here. Let's see what this one says. It says, a junk ornament. 
Uh, dangle for your baskets, planters, bins, and containers. Charm dangles. I think it says, okay, so let me see if I can open this. I might need to get my scissor out again. Let's see. I kind of buried it under stickers over here, so let me see if I can cut into this and get it open without, I don't want to hurt anything on the inside. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Oh my goodness. So you know that she made this. Oh, this is incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look at the angels in here. That is incredible. Oh, they're so cute. And two little lambs. Oh, this, I wish you, let's see. Let me go the long way so you guys can kind of see the whole thing. Um, oh, this is so pretty. And look at the bottom. It says, Jesus, Holy Night. Then there's a tree with gingerbreads. And there's a dangle charm with um, a little bottle that has beads in it. And then there's a bow with flowers. And then... It says Jill right here. So this is a, like one of those um, cap charms, uh, bottle cap charms. And she put my name in there. And it's such a pretty like iridescent blue. One of my favorite colors. And look at that. So this can hang up. This is so, I wish I could hold it in a way that you guys could see it better. But it's so neat. That's beautiful. I just love that. And it's so me, Felicia. You just did such a beautiful job on this. And then even on the back, she's got a little bow. It's so cute. Oh, I just love it. I love how you did this. I don't know. Is that resin? I don't do resin, but I think that's resin. You'll have to tell me. I'm pretty sure that it's resin, though. And then I think this has got resin in it, too. See the little teeny tiny gingers? I love that. <laughs> Baby gingers just, don't they make you guys smile? They're so cute. And then what is on here? This says, hug me. Oh, it's just so precious. Thank you. I'm going to hang this up in my room right now. Well, I'll do it after I'm off camera. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. And then here's, whoops. Oh, my goodness. All right, here's a basket. And it says, Happy Easter. See right there? It says, Happy Easter. Let me see if I can get this open. Oops. I'm going to have to cut. Oh, maybe I can just pull on that. There we go. Oh, it's a little Easter basket full of goodies, you guys. So look at that. What's this first thing? These, oh, they're little cross charms. Look at that. There's green, blue, a little bit bigger size yellow one, a pink one, and then there's a little heart. Let's see, I wonder if I can, oh, I don't know if they're individual. I have to try and set that down a second here. I'm gonna try and open this so I can see. I'm not sure if these are just individual charms or if this is something else. I think they're just charms that I can add to projects. Yeah, see, so there's the yellow one. They're individual charms. Those are so pretty. I just, I'm having a hard time getting things out. And I know people don't like the crinkling, but so there's all these little charms. Oh, they're so pretty. They sparkle. And then this one is a beautiful heart um, bead charm. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. That you could put on a chain. So very, very pretty. Those are gorgeous. Thank you, Felicia. Here, I'm gonna set those over there and then I'll find a place to put those later. And then what else is in this basket? Ooh, some of that netting ribbon in a beautiful bright daffodil yellow, which I love yellow, especially at right now in the springtime. All the daffodils outside are blooming and it's one of my favorite springtime colors. That's so pretty. And then these are little tiny felt buttons. Those are adorable. I used to have these um, in my stash, I think in red and green and blue or something. But I love these springtime colors, the purple and gold and the pink and green. Those are adorable. 
And then here is a little thing of twine, and this says create and craft, and it's a beautiful pink and white um, cording or twine. And then here is a protein bar, almonds, cashews, and pecans. Ooh, that looks yummy. Yum. You know who's going to take that right off my hands is my son. He's at that age where he likes to eat everything. Um, growing boy. You, you guys know how, who, how that is if you've raised sons. Um, and then these are some beautiful gingham buttons. I love these. And these are from Daiso. I think I have, um, I had a pack of these at Christmas time last year. And I, I think I only have a few left. So this will replenish me, which is wonderful. And there's all different colors in here. So you can see brown and black and pink and green, all the different colors. So just wonderful. I love those. Thank you, Felicia. And this basket is adorable too. Oops. I just dropped those on the floor. I'll have to get them in a minute. And then this is some little teeny tiny micro beads. And they're a very pretty um, blue purple color. It, they remind me of hydrangeas. So those will be fun to add to projects because I do have a hydrangea stamp and it'd be really fun to use those somehow. So, and then look at how cute this little basket is. So that'll be fun to reuse too. I love baskets. I love reusing baskets to gift things in. That is an adorable little basket. Oh, so cute. Let's see, what else is in here? This says, this says, um, die cuts from my private collection using my prized um, discontinued yesteryear papers. So look at all these beautiful crosses. So I'm going to put those, these are really nice to have like when you're making a sympathy card or Easter cards. And I only have one, I think one cross die. So this will add a bunch of different ones to my collection. And this video is getting long, so I'm not going to open it up and look through them all. Um, and then this says, um, Gingham from Gingham Glamorous Glowing Glittery Glam Gal to another Gingham Greenwood Girl. Ah, a Gingham gift from one Gingham Glamorous Glowing Glittery Glam Gal to another Gingham Greenwood Girl. Love and blessings. That's so cute. <laughs> I almost couldn't even say it, Felicia, but that's awesome. Ah, that is adorable. So look at all this beautiful Gingham papers. Oh, and I think it's also, here, let me open this and pull this out because she sent all this beautiful gingham. But look at what part of it is, you guys. These are napkins. So she's got all different color napkins, orange, red, brown, black, green, pink, purple, blue, yellow. So every single color you could possibly want. Those are adorable. I have never seen gingham napkins before and I certainly don't have any. So thank you for sharing. And then look at these beautiful gingham papers. And these are kind of like an aged vintage gingham, which is really nice for shabby chic, you know, vintagey type projects. So look at all the colors of gingham she sent. All different um, tones and colors. So a veritable rainbow of gingham, my favorite thing. And I have to tell you guys, my printer broke this week. So I have only been working with scraps this week because I can't print any papers until I get a new printer and I can't find a printer that I want to buy. So it's going to, I might have to try and go, um, my son and I are on spring break this coming week. And um, so if I can, I'm going to try and find a printer while we're off. And then what is this? This looks like, ooh, lip stuff, always needed. Very much so. I always, my lips always need, <laughs> need help. <laughs> and then let's see. Um, okay, that was from the other thing. But I'm gonna, there's this last thing is really big. Um, it says for Timmy and enough to share says reminds me of you the colors so I'm not sure if that was on the gingham maybe or or if it was on if or if it was on this I'm not really sure because this package definitely it, it made it here but it definitely got jostled by um, the post office or whatever it definitely was shooken up <laughs> by the time it reached me and I think our postal staff um, 
like everywhere else, you guys, they're shorthanded. People are in and out because of COVID, and I think they're struggling to, to get packages delivered. I know I sent a bunch of Happy Mail out over Easter, and I know that some people have not received it because I've been checking, and uh, so it's just the post office. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get what she sent out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Timmy's going to be excited about this. <laughs> Oh, look at you guys. It's a ginormous thing of peanut M&Ms. And I'll tell you guys, this is something that I can eat one or two of these because it's it's got the, the fat of the nuts in it with the chocolate. So that is just wonderful. And this reminds me of my Grandma Maggie, my Grandma Micheline. Uh, she, this was her favorite candy. So anytime I see peanut M&Ms, <laughs> Felicia, you make me, re you make me remember my grandmother. And I know your grandmother is very important to you too, as all of our grandmothers are. Um, so my heart is smiling right now because I feel like she's saying hello to me from you. So, and I know these, that Timmy's going to flip when I take this upstairs, you guys, because I, I don't ever buy candy because I receive, we receive candy in Happy Mail and from my, from my mom and dad um, and Tim's other grandparents sometimes. So I don't ever have to buy anything because it just seems to come to me, which is lovely because um, candy's expensive. So um, I am just very touched that you sent this and Timmy's going to be so excited, Felicia. What a package of goodness you have given to me today and to Tim. Um, the gingham, the, the things, whoops, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, I should really move this box out of the way, but the gingham and um, the can you should, you guys, this box is humongous. I don't know if you realize how big it is, but, um, and I'm spilling everything everywhere, but let me move that out of the way and just uh, tell you guys how much um, I appreciate uh, the friendships I have here on YouTube and Felicia, this package just touches my heart. All the sweet things you sent, the hand cream, the face things, the, the yarn, the trims, this incredible gingerbread stamp, which I do not have in my collection, um, has been on my wish list for <laughs> years. And, uh, the, the pretty, <laughs> the pretty gingham papers and napkins and, uh, just the ribbon, the gingerbread ribbon pieces, they're so cute. So everything you sent just warms my heart and I just cannot thank you enough. I know Timmy's gonna be so excited when I take that upstairs and show him. So um, just know how much you've touched my heart and uh, I hope that you're doing well, Felicia. I hope all of you out there that are struggling with health issues are doing well. I send my love to Tina and to Kat. Um, who I know have been struggling and uh, anyone else that's dealing with stuff right now, just know that uh, I pray for all my crafty friends every day. And uh, I hold you guys all in my heart and I will be back with Saturday morning makes tomorrow morning. It's Friday evening tonight. So Felicia, thank you for thinking of me um, for touching my heart with your beautiful heart and sharing your wonderful channel with all of us bless you, my dear. And uh, I'll be back with you guys on Saturday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.